Hi, let's talk about the intrinsic laryngeal muscles. As you may recall, the intrinsic laryngeal muscles are muscles which attach one element of the laryngoskeleton to another element of the laryngoskeleton. Most of them are innervated by the recurrent laryngeal nerves. The exception to that is this first muscle that we'll start with, the cricothyroid. Pay attention to the names of the intrinsic laryngeal muscles because a lot is revealed, in particular, what elements of the laryngoskeleton these muscles attach. So the cricothyroid muscles run from the anterior aspect of the cricoid cartilage up to the thyroid cartilage. And when they are stimulated by those external branches of the superior laryngeal nerves, which we can see coming down there, they tip the thyroid cartilage anteriorly and inferiorly. So they're affecting motion at the cricothyroid joints. And that is going to put more tension on the vocal ligaments and tension is proportional to pitch. So more tension equals more pitch. These are elevators of pitch. The next muscles that I'd like to show you are the arytenoid muscles. The arytenoid muscles get their name from the fact that they attach the arytenoid cartilages to one another. When they pull, they are going to adduct the arytenoid cartilages together. And if we were to think of this from a superior view, so those would be the vocal ligaments, these would be the arytenoid cartilages, by adducting those arytenoid cartilages together, one is going to adduct the vocal folds and therefore going to make the rima glottidis narrower, um, which in fact is the position for phonation because those folds need to be relatively near each other in order for them to vibrate. They need to be in the path of the air. Now there are two types of fibers for the arytenoid muscles that we call different muscles. They're the transverse. The transverse are the ones whose fibers are running like so. And then there are the oblique. And the oblique fibers run like this, obliquely. See, very well named. Um, they both work together. They're both innervated by the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Uh, and the oblique uh, arytenoid muscles actually have an airy epiglottic part, which runs in the air epiglottic folds to help constrict or narrow the laryngeal inlet, to help that function more of as a sphincter for air. Now, finally, we have the cricoarytenoid muscles. There are both lateral and posterior cricoarytenoid muscles. They both originate on the cricoid cartilage, albeit in different places. Their names will reveal that. And they both also uh, attach to the muscular process of the arytenoid cartilage. So if we were to draw this out with our vocal ligaments like so, these are the vocal processes to the anterior, and then laterally there are muscular processes to which these cricoarytenoid muscles attach. The posterior cricoarytenoid muscles come from the posterior aspect of the cricoid cartilage attached to those muscular processes such that when they pull, the arytenoid cartilage pivots laterally. So that muscular process goes out. What that does is it abducts, it abducts the vocal folds so as to make the rima glottidis larger. So this is a position for wholesale uh, ventilation. The other muscle, and you're not responsible for finding this in lab, is going to be the lateral cricoarytenoid muscle. We can see here that the Thyroid lamina has been cut and reflected. We can see coming from the cricoid cartilage there up to the muscular process of the arytenoid cartilage there, which is where the posterior cricoarytenoid muscle goes. Those muscles 
are going to pull the muscular processes medially so as to adduct the vocal folds to bring them into the position for phonation because when you bring the vocal folds in the airway they have the opportunity to vibrate with with exhalation which is the basis for phonation so we've discussed the uh, the greatest hits of the intrinsic uh, laryngeal muscles uh, cricothyroid uh, arytenoid muscles oblique and transverse as well as cricoarytenoid muscles lateral and posterior cricoarytenoid muscles thank you for your time